Greetings folks, in this video I'm going to show you how to set up an audible variometer feedback just using a flight control board, an INAV, and no uh, standalone variometer. Flight control boards usually have a barometer on board and INAV uses that barometer to report uh, altitude and vertical speed and the Tyrannus radio can use vertical speed to give the barometer feedback. To do this we need to use uh, OpenTX FRSky receiver enable smart port in INAV so that we can send all the telemetry data gathered by the board, the GPS, uh, the current sensor, all that sort of stuff, send it back to the radio, then the radio uses that to uh, report the altitude and variometer uh, and vertical speed beeps. So smart port, most uh, FRSky receivers have S bus there which is what we use to connect to the flight control board PWM pins as well to operate servos and we have the smart port on the other side of the receiver this is an X6R, there's the smart port uh, plug there so we would take the signal wire from that smart port plug it into the T2 pin on the flight control board and then we discover sensors on the Tyrannus and that gives us access to the vertical speed in the mini drack, which is uh, not a glider at all, so it's a bit pointless having uh, an audible vario. Uh, we have the, the yellow wire is the smart port, and I have that coming through here and plugged into the T2 pin on the uh, Matek F411 WSE board. So now let's go into INAV and show how to set up the smart port. So first off, we have to go to the configuration page and make sure enable. CPU based serial ports is turned on. That gives us access to the soft serial. Go to ports. Soft serial 1 and 2 will appear here and we select smart port in soft serial 2. So we have GPS on UART 1. We have serial receiver on UART 2. And now all the setup is on the Tyrannus so we go to model Navigate to the telemetry page, we discover new sensors and if your smart port and soft serial are set up correctly then you'll discover all these 23 sensors coming from the flight control board to the receiver and being sent to the transmitter and you'll see one of the options, number 19, is vertical speed. So we scroll down below that, we can stop discovery and you'll see the variometer set up here. If we now tell the variometer that we, we want to use vertical speed. There it is there. So that part's done. You can choose tone or silent for that uh, sort of center, neither rising nor sinking area, which I usually change that to silent, but we'll leave it on tone so that we know that the vario is working. So now we can go to special functions and set up a switch to activate the vario. I already have it set up select your switch position and select Vario from the list of options there it is there so now when we switch on SE2 we should get the Vario tones like we do also if we lift the model up and down we get the varying tone of the Vario to, sh to indicate lift or sync silent, there we go I'll lift it up and down So that's working properly now. So there we go, Vario audible beeps using just the flight control board, INAV, FRSky and Tyrannus. It works perfectly well. Of course it's not relevant for a mini drack, but uh, if you want to do FPV thermal gliding, uh, it's a very good idea to have the feedback beeps uh, because you hard to tell whether you're rising or sinking when you're looking at the screen unless you have the uh, Vario graph on the side of course but it's always better to have the audible beeps. Thanks for watching.